G'day folks, today I'm going to show you how to create stunning HDR time lapses using software by Photomatix and GoPro Studio. On the right hand side you'll see the original sequence and on the left hand side you'll see it after it's been converted to HDR. This only works in photo mode on your GoPro Hero. Feel free to pause this video as needed and we'll see you in step one. So the first thing we got to do is create a preset that we're going to use later on when we batch process our image sequence. So we're just going to launch the software and if we go over here we're going to load a single photo. Now you can just pick any photo, it doesn't really matter at this point. And then on the right hand side we're going to click on tone map. It's going to ask you if you'd like to denoise and I would choose yes. And wait for it to do its magic. And you're going to see right away that it's already looking really good. Now at this point we're going to select a preset. You know it's on the right hand side they have ones that are already made just common ones just click on them and it'll give you an instant preview of what it's going to look like and I think we'll stick with this one now on the left hand side here we can adjust some of the settings just play around with the sliders until you get something you're happy with. So once you're happy with all the changes you've made, you can go ahead and hit the apply button. And that's going to create the final image. Now what we have to do is we have to save these settings that we just tweaked. And that's different, we're not saving the photo, we're just going to save the settings as a preset. So just go ahead and hit the save settings button and it's going to save it into your last open directory. So in the next step we're going to be moving the preset to where it needs to be. So just give it a file name and I'll call mine my preset and just hit the save button. So if you look up top here, here's the directory where we need to move the preset that we just saved. So for on this is on a PC. You can see it's user, Sean, App Data, Roaming, HDR Soft, Photomatix Pro, and Presets. It most likely is different on a Mac, so you'll just have to find the path and just paste your preset in there and you can close that down when you're done. And then we will move on to step two. So now in step three, we're going to batch process the photos in our time lapse sequence using Photomatix Pro. Just click on the batch single photo button there on the left hand side. Now at the top here, we're going to select the folder where our sequence of photos is and mine's right there so you'll notice your whole sequence will be listed down here we can select either the output as a JPEG or TIFF I'm gonna leave mine as a JPEG quality 100% now here this is where we're going to select the uh, preset that we just made so we'll click here where it says all styles going to go down to my presets and if all went well the preset you just made should be listed there so select it now I have my noise reduction always set at about 105 percent but something you might have to play with now for contrast we'll do mild contrast and sharpening we'll do mild sharpening you can set your own naming sequence in this section if you want, but I 
I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then we're going to hit run. This could take several hours, uh, maybe half an hour, depending on your computer and how many images need to be processed. It'll pop up a message when it's done. So just uh, sit tight and we will see you in step three once this is done. Now we'll just take a quick look at the before and after. Here's the original and here it is after we've run the photomatic software through it. Quite a difference. Now you only have to make a preset once. From here on in all your photo sequences can be done by using that same preset. So now we're going to launch GoPro Studio and we're going to select our new HDR photos that we just processed. So this basically is the same as any kind of time lapse now. So we're going to load them. And we'll maybe just check the settings. And yep, I'm happy with everything there. Hit OK. Now we'll add clip to the conversion list. And we will convert. This might take some time. Now I've just jumped ahead while our video file was rendering, so we are in step two within GoPro Studio. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our completed video here down to the timeline. And now from here we can do some other mild image editing. Maybe we'll turn the saturation up a bit just to make the sky a little bit bluer play with the contrast just a little bit not too much you don't want to make things look too unrealistic so yeah that looks good now we can just do a quick preview keep in mind it's going to be pretty choppy just because it's in preview mode so the final video is not going to look like that so we're happy with everything now we can export it and I'm going to do mine at 1080 um, you can do whatever works best for you and then just hit the export button, give it a file name, I'm going to call it Pond Mills because that's uh, the name of the lake that I was at. And we'll hit save and now it's going to take some time to export. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the, uh, the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our new videos coming soon.